SL2000 series step light sample case. Let's take a look at it. Uh, box is first, uh, there's a zipper in the front, it has all the spec sheets for the products. So first we're gonna start with the back box assembly. This is everything that ships with the back box, it includes a splatter guard. We put thumb screws for this case so that you can take apart the contents. We'll take a look at that later. Next we have the SL2000 3. This comes without the back box, but shows kind of how the whole fixture looks. It's a sealed unit, has a special connector again, just for the sales kit so you can power it on quickly. This shows another fixture, SL2040, with a back box and a special quick connect. This is just to show how it fits inside the back box. And this is a different faceplate. This is an SL2041. It shows the assembly of the faceplate and the quality of the manufacturing. This is a stainless steel faceplate, SL2010. And this is uh, a louvered faceplate. We also offer the open face in stainless. This here's the power cable with the special quick connect that works with both the fixture with the back box and also the fixture without the back box. Then another special sample piece for an option, we have a tamper-proof screw. It just shows how that screw looks and also the center pin and the Torx head. So this quick connect, it keys into this pin connector on this fixture. So you can't misalign the, the pins, plug it in, turn it on. You can also unplug, plug into here. This twists a little bit, so you kind of hear it snap. It'll key in, twist it, and pull away to disengage it. So these clips on each side, on the back of this step light, are the snapping features. Those clips snap in to clips on the back box. And that kind of gives that sort of no fastener look. To unhook this, you gotta kind of, there we go. Twist it a little bit, but you see the other clip inside there. To put it back in place, you'll hear it snap. Now it's back in place. So this is the back box assembly that the customer received. We did provide thumb screws that aren't included in the production version, just typical normal screws. But to make it easier for removing and kind of seeing the contents, we'll take these out. So first step, and it's just a piece of core plast for concrete pours. Inside you have a bag full of hardware. You'll see in the installation instructions all the hardware needed for concrete pour and different various mounting installations. Here we have brick and mortar brackets that allow for adjustment when this is put in a brick wall. Masonry brackets. Also have drywall brackets. They're, everything's labeled too. It has the labels on there. These fit in and allow for adjustment to a drywall stud. Then we have kind of the foam insert. This allows for a better Structural support on the back box when concrete pours. Sometimes you have a lot of pressure going on some of these walls. It kind of prevents that from happening. So this is always part of the install instructions to install that before concrete pour. And just reassemble all the contents back and where you found them in the case. Close it up. 
and secure with the thumb screws. So we'll take a look at the FCL 2040 and just every single piece of contents in here is labeled, has a description, lumens, wattage, amperage, CCT, kind of the part string you followed on the cut sheets. But we'll take a look at this one. This is our high performer. Uh, lumen wise, it can clock in at over 128 lumens per watt. And uh, this version actually is a uh, 466 lumens at 3.6 watts. So this is that uh, high LPW performer. Uh, we could go up to a thousand, over a thousand lumens on this model for uh, some pretty impressive throws and uh, still up above 100 lumens per watt. So we could power this one on in. Yeah, and this reflector is an Alanod reflector. It's a high specular reflector with diffusion. It really adds to the performance of the LEDs, about 33 LEDs in here, and uh, gives nice efficiency on the product with a good throw, both forward and at wide angle throw. So center to center beam spacing would be optimal uh, footage. We can do some studies. So all these fixtures are IP68 rated, uh, tested here. All the fixtures are supplied with uh, five waterproof wire nut connections. So all the connections inside the box and the back box can also be through wired for multiple circuits on a, or multiple fixtures on a circuit. So the back box is universal here. Fits all the same sizes on the 13 inch SL 2000s. It also by standard has the snap-in fastenerless feature. We gave this little sample piece, this is that tamper-proof screw that can be used on any of the face plates as well as an option adder. Uh, and it will have the snap-in feature plus this tamper-proof screw to secure it to the face and the back box. Yeah, so talk a little bit more about the IP68 rated. All the fixtures have this it's the anti-siphon cabling. It has potting on the inside to prevent any, say they call it anti-wicking, so water, moisture can get through into the wires and actually into your fixture. This prevents all that from happening. It also allows the fixture actually can breathe underwater. So this breather vent, it can allow water uh, or air molecules in and out, but not water because they're larger. So it's designed for that. That it really extends the life of your LEDs, your gaskets, and a lot of electronics inside here when you're adding some sort of breathability on a waterproof fixture. Again, this connector and this strain relief, this is just on the sales sample kit. So this connector is never included in the product. We will include five waterproof wire nuts that terminate these leads into the back box. So they're still waterproof, but this connector assembly is just for allowing quick connect and power. It's got this nice shoulder strap here. Nice technical fabric here, it's very fashionable. I'm gonna go sell some now.